Hey guys, this is Asphyxia here. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to downgrade your 3012 server. So the first thing that I'm gonna actually do is start up a TS3 server that is running 3012. So there we go. And yeah, let's okay. just go ahead and copy this key, uh, allow it through the firewall, and I'm gonna enter my privilege key. So privilege key accepted. And here you can see I am running in my uh, in my server. So now let's say that I want to change this to test one two three. You okay, the so there we go. Now let's say that we want to downgrade this server. So first I'm going to actually just disconnect, and then I'm going to close the server process down. So just go ahead and close out of your server process, shut it down, and what you're going to want to do is take your SQLite DB file, and literally if you just come on over to hotfix.rape.net, and uh, you can look, it kind of gives you the instructions here, but I'm just making a video so it's even easier for people. So I'm going to drag my SQLite DB file into this box. You can see it uploads it. Instantly, as soon as it's uploaded to the server, it does a, a quick like conversion. It changes a little bit of the DB structure, and it downloads it. So here you can see this is the version that is going to work in 3.0.11.4. So let's take this version over here, over into um, into downgrade. So you're going to, of course, need to get your uh, 3.0.11.4 set up. So let's go ahead and extract this here. And let's just go ahead and set up, uh, let's set this up here. Now you can see it's going to it's going to generate me a new key. I'm going to allow access, and I'm actually going to connect back into uh, into my local server. Connected. So here, let's just go ahead and put my key in. I mean, we really don't need to, but here uh, you can see, hey, my uh, my server name's not the same as it was. But remember, we did convert the structure of the 3.0.12 DB to be compatible with 3.0.11.4, which is this. So what we can do is we can disconnect from our server, and we need to shut down the server. Okay, so the server is shut down. And now you can literally just take this and replace your old one. So you're going to move it and replace it. So now if you remember what the server name was called in 3012, and we connect into a local host, it should be Connected. test one, two, three, just like that. That's how simple it is to downgrade your TeamSpeak 3 server to 3011.4. Have fun and share with your friends because security is very important. And as always, stay safe out there on TeamSpeak, guys. Also, check out the form that we run. It is r4p3.net. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.